Coach Cross, another day in the books uh, in the afternoon heat today. Talk about today's workout. Well, you know, it, it rained pretty good, uh, I think, overnight. So we had to come on the turf, which, you know, adds about 20 to 30 degrees uh, temperature-wise to, to having to practice on, uh, on the turf than, than natural grass. So it was hot. You know, but uh, even though it was in the mid 80s, you know, so we got a little bit of a breeze. But what I see this team doing right now, I see them pushing through it, you know, and uh, this was kind of a, a shell day, cut back a little bit, but, you know, we got some good work done. I mean, we pushed through the wall once we got there. Sim did that last night and again today. So, you know, that's really encouraging. You know, a lot of teams will they slow down a lot. The pace of practice really slows down, falls off. But, yeah, I think we're just pushing on through it and get good leadership. And, you know, the energy is really good. Even those guys are exhausted here at the end. They finished with a team tempo period. It's, you know, got a lot of enthusiasm in it. So we're running around all over the field. So, you know, looking forward to more, back to full pads and more, and, you know, more of a little longer practice and, uh, you know, get after a little more. And then tomorrow we'll mark one week on the practice field as well. How far have you seen this team come in a week's worth of work? Well, you know, we, we threw it at them last night a little bit more than normal. We almost had a, a mini scrimmage, you know, so it was uh, it was really good. So I see them handling it pretty good and developing. We still got a lot of areas we got to grow up in, but still a lot of experience back, and that's uh, that's kind of comforting, you know. Uh, you know, last year this time we didn't have experience, so it, it feels a little bit better to, to have experience, and you can tell it, you know. Now, defense still ahead of offense a little bit, so, uh, you know, that's to be expected. And then um, today the preseason stats poll, which is one of the two major polls, came out. You guys are picked six, which finished the year 10th, so the voters have moved you up in that poll. Uh, can you just kind of talk about the preseason um, predictions for this team? Well, you know how I feel about those. They, they don't really mean anything and I have no bearing on how the season plays out. It's, uh, you know, we got to control, you know, we're in control of how we play and we got to play every week and get better and develop, but it's definitely where we want to be. We definitely want to be up here in, the, in really the, the top five. You know, you definitely want to have a home field advantage. I think traveling second round last, last year we kind of learned a lesson. You know, it's tough to travel in the second round and, and you, you want to be able to play at home throughout the playoffs. So, you know, being in the top five is, is a huge thing. So that means more than, you know, really the rankings. I mean, it just kind of shows you where we want to be. But I think the voters kind of see we got more experience back, you know, and I think that's kind of, you know, helped us there. But, you know, hey, you got to play every week and win to stay there. We all know that. So can't stub your toe along the way, but every week will be important. And I think this team, you know, knows that, know the validity of every week, how much it means and, uh, you know, the magnitude of those games, even the non-conference games, and as well as you know, our competitive conference. I mean, you just got to find ways to win every week. And college football, it's hard to do because you play a lot against a lot of, you know, great athletes that are so well coached, and uh, you just got to, you got to play your rear ends off to give yourself a chance to win. And uh, you yeah, know, we we learned a lot from scrimmage last night of just taking care of the football. I mean, it's all about the ball. You got to, we got to do a better job this year if we want to have a home field advantage and be able to give ourselves a chance to win every week is to take care of the football and be the plus side. And, you know, I think last year, first time we ever been on the negative side. And, you know, we got to create more turnovers and we definitely got to take care of the football.